Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? It's your boy Stu coming at you with another absolute banger here on the channel, man. Hey, it's almost that time. It is almost that time. Warzone is coming out in less than 72 hours, and I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna make sure you have the best guns to run start day one. It's gonna be a sweat fest. It's gonna be really good, and you do not wanna get left behind. So I got you with the best loadouts right here. Based off of what I've been using inside of multiplayer, as well as what I know about Warzone and how it usually is, I'm gonna give you my recommendation, what I think the meta is gonna be day one come Thursday, man. If you guys like today's video, make sure you guys like the video. Comment down below, what do you think the meta is gonna be day one, and subscribe to the channel for more. With that being said, man, let me show you these loadouts, man. These loadouts, <clears throat> excuse me, cut that out. All right, so these are gonna be the loadouts day one. That I, these are some of the, these these five guns. I have five guns on the list. I think are gonna be absolute meta right here. Um, I did not put on some of these things. These are all long range. So mostly we're talking about the long range meta here. But going through, there's only like four guns that I think are gonna be the long range meta. So make sure you guys check out tomorrow's video where we talk about the SMG meta. I have an SMG in this video because I because I, I needed five loadouts. And well, <laughs> there's only four guns that I think are gonna be long range meta. Um, but starting with the Model L, this was my absolute favorite gun that I use while leveling guns up. Well, as you see, I don't even have this fully level, but I already got gold on it. It was so good. It was so fun to use. It's easy to get headshots, easy to shoot, great fire rate. And this is the class that I think is going to be the Warzone Day 1 class setup for this. You have the Willis 3 times scope, which I think is the best, This, which has the best scope in the game. As you see, it has a really good, you know, clean iron sight. It has a very, very clean reticle. So it makes it very easy for you to see your target when you're shooting. Along with the suppressor, uh, reinforced barrel. The reinforced barrel is going to be on every gun. J just, just get used to it. The reinforced barrel. You're, this is the barrel you're going to want to use for all of your guns. It adds the most damage range as well as bullet velocity, and you need both of those inside of Warzone. So, damage range and bullet velocity. Reinforced barrel. You're going to want that on all of your guns. Uh, vertical foregrip for more horizontal sway, and then the Stin Mag 2 for that 60 or 50 round mag. Yeah, this is this is the absolute beamer. This is the absolute laser right here. And you're gonna absolutely love it, man. You're gonna absolutely love it. It does, it does have a little bit of kick to it, not a lot. Um, a little bit of some, you know, have a little bit of recoil to it. But I mean, if you look at the recoil here, it goes up and to the right. You know, a little bit of an S curve, so not the worst. You know, it's it's not that hard to maintain. You just gotta. So it does have a little bit of some S curve stuff, but at the end of the day. It's not the worst to control, man. So give it a shot, man. This is going to be the Model L. This is the class that you're going to want to use for it in Wars on Day 1. All right, moving on to what I think is going to be the second best gun. But that's, it's not a list of order of 1 to 5. It's just going to be another long-range meta gun right here. This right here is the AK-74. This gun is an absolute beamer as well. It's one of the it's one of the favorite guns by a lot of people actually. I've seen a lot of people drop nukes with this gun. Going back to the Willis three times scope, the ported compensator. I have that instead of the suppressor because this kind of has. Okay, I have that instead of the, I have that instead of the suppressor because this kind of has like a little bit of a horizontal, you know, it kind of has a little bit of some recoil to it. So to help mitigate that recoil a little bit, I took that off um, with the reinforced barrel extending bag, and I put rapid fire on here. A lot of people don't put rapid fire on here, but rapid fire is absolutely necessary for this gun. As you see, it still does have a little bit of recoil. If you if you want to get if you want to get rid of the recoil. Then you would take rapid fire off and you would put on the under barrel like the precision under barrel and then that would you know help get rid of some of that recoil it's for well, most of the re almost all the recoil so so let me know down in the comments below when, when i make the glove videos since since we do have the gunfighter perk would you guys want me to make videos where it has eight attachments on it or do you want to keep doing five attachments like we've normally been doing in warzone but since gunfighter is a thing you can now put eight attachments on your guns all right, number three. This right here is actually, I put this on here because this is the best SMG. In my opinion, 
this will be the meta SMG in Warzone day one. I, I, I've seen people say a lot of different things. I've seen people say the Tonto. I've seen people say the C9 because the C9 is the MP5. And if, when is the MP5 ever bad? Um, I've seen people say the Jackal. I don't think any of these are going to be meta day one. The Compact 92, which I, I mean, obviously is locked, but I have it max level. Um, as you see, I have a max level with over a thousand kills with it, but it's locked because I prestige. The Compact 92 is definitely a really great gun, but I feel like that's gonna be like a resurgence type of gun. It doesn't really have the damage that it's supposed to, but it does have a super fast fire rate and great mobility. So that, that's gonna be a really fun gun to use, but I'm thinking about the best gun, day one, easiest to use, best class setup for, for anybody to just pick up and run with. This gun here, the PP919, is going to be the gun this is i promise you the pp919 is going to be the meta smg um when it has 64 bullets by default then it has you know the reinforced barrel the suppressor ergonomic grip a balanced stock and then rapid fire the rapid fire is what makes it meta the rapid fire barrel uh, the rapid fire fire mod is what makes this gun meta it, it is it, it it puts the the fire rate at a very at a very competitive at a very competitive fire rate uh to the point to where it can actually challenge against the c9 against a lot of different guns because it has the fast enough fire rate i'm just missing my shot you guys know i record these videos early in the morning and my shot is just not there right now <laughs> so yeah so if you look at this it, it bumps about 12 percent, puts it at 698 whereas if you take it off if you take off the if you take it off at 625 so you could do recoil springs if you feel like you know recoil springs is just something you need if you feel like you need recoil springs to help to help recoil with the recoil i mean obviously that did help with the recoil an absolute lot uh, another great thing if you look for more and more recoil uh you do ported compensator with the recoil springs and that basically gives it no recoil whatsoever so uh yeah this is this is this is up to you guys what you guys want to rock me personally what i'm gonna rock is the suppressor and then i'm gonna have the rapid fire on here because for me that that this is the best class this is having the extra extra rounds per minute it does shake a little bit but it's not not crazy it has this has really good iron sights so this even though this is gonna be an ar long range meta this actually has some pretty good distance on it it has a pretty good distance on it as you see it goes up to 25 meters I'm sorry, it goes up to 17 meters. 17 meters. That's that's a very good range. Um, effective damage range to get this 25 meters. So it's gonna be it's, this is gonna be the best SMG. I promise you, this is gonna be the best SMG you want to rock. So level this up fast because this gun is going to be it's gonna be broken when it comes to close range, mid-range gunfights. The PP919 is what you want to use. Moving on to the next gun, man. Moving on to the next gun, we have the PU-21. I'm going to be honest. I'm just now leveling this up, but I put it on the list because I said, yo, I know one thing about Warzone when it first drops, an LMG is almost always the meta. Think about the last couple of years. We've had so many LMGs just come and go. You know, we've had the Bruin. We've had the... I can't remember. I can't remember all the LMG names at this moment, but there's been so many LMGs that were just dominant in warzone and i think this is gonna be another year just like it so uh it, it always takes a very long time for them to make ars uh meta so day one this might be the long range meta the pu21 especially since once you unlock the fast mag it makes it it gives it a 45 round mag you know this is just obviously i don't have this leveled all the way up it's only at level seven but you so you're gonna want the reinforced barrel um, I put a suppressor on here. I put my suppressor on everything. So suppressor, reinforced barrel. Uh, I'm still gonna go with the Willis three times once I have it unlocked. <laughs> and then I'll probably end up going with the um, precision or even, what is this, crowbar? Okay, so that's how I'll come up later. Uh, precision or even, <laughs> the vertical foregrip man so those are gonna be the class setup so that's what i'm ending with gonna rock right now but as you see 45 round mag it shoots very fast even though i don't have the under barrel on it you can see it's, it's pretty 
you can see it's pretty uh it doesn't have a lot of recoil so i put three plates on a box here but we, we don't know if the box is actually going to be effective here but three plates on a box it does have a little recoil having to control it a little bit but that's actually not a bad ttk that's not a bad ttk at all you put three plates on the box here and you can see yeah that, that's not a bad ttk at all oh my god yeah so this is you know seeing putting this on this is actually really good this is actually what i think is gonna be meta day one which i think this is gonna be a good meta i think this is gonna be a good meta day one the pu21 i'm not i'm not calling it it's gonna be meta day one seeing this right now shooting these targets with the plates on it um I'm gonna finish level on this. I thought like this is gonna be meta day one for sure. So make sure you guys level up the PU21. I'm calling it. It's gonna be meta day one. But that's not the only reason why we're here. We have one more loadout. We have the AEK973. As you see, I have not even started level on this. I haven't. I have not started level on this, but I've seen what people do with it. And let me just say, it is absolutely broken. It, this gun is, is gonna be broken. So if the PU21 is not. That was a three burst, bro. And I was body. Let's get ahead. Yeah, it's a three burst. I don't. This is no attachments. This is a level one, no attachments AEK. And it's a three burst. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I take it back. The P21 is not going to be meta. This is going to be meta. Because this is ridiculous, bro. Like, three bursts. Three bursts. And then this is no rapid fire. The rapid fire on this makes it go even more insane. The iron sights are really ugly. But this is actually a broken gun. Oh my god, it's a two burst if you get all headshots. If you get all headshots, it's a two burst. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, this is this is let's go see. 10, 20. It's a 50 meters. That's a three burst of 50 meters. Yeah, this is yeah, this gun is broken. 50 meters back here. Oh, there's a dummy all the way back there. Wait. I, that was about a four burst, but the bullet velocity kind of didn't travel all the way over there. Okay, I got really locked in on that. I didn't even know there was a dummy all the way back there. So 10. 25 50 and i guess that's 100 meters back there so I, I, i'm glad that they added that so you can see that but this is yeah this is definitely yeah this is definitely gonna be really good this is gonna be really good so level this up man but these are my five guns that i think are you have to level up right here right now as you see two of them i don't even have leveled up but i'm going to by the end of today i'm gonna have these two guns leveled up i'm gonna have the pu21 and the ak leveled up but make sure you level up level up these guns the model l ak74 a uh, definitely 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 the pp919 the pu21 and the aek973 if you level these guns up i promise you you're gonna be good in warzone when it comes on Thursday. But that being said, but thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Always remember you can catch all of my gameplay live at twitch.tv slash big stew gaming. I will be live on Thursday going through Warzone, showing the new Warzone map, playing out all the new modes, and seeing how good these guns are day one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.